the film was Edge of Tomorrow, and uh, Tom Cruise has been chased around by one of the aliens. And the action is, and it didn't make it into the movie, this particular action, but the action is that Tom gets thrown across the uh, room, crashes into a police car, and then the alien comes running up to him. And uh, in order to do that, Tom does his stunt, and then I come bounding through the set with my green cross, and then uh, come up to Tom Cruise, who's lying on the ground like this, and I go, grr, grr, and Tom has to go, ah. <laughs> It's just a pretty bizarre Strange. event, and um, uh, good job, good job yesterday in the green suit, um, well done. And he, and he put, his, uh, put his hand up like this. And I had no idea what he was doing. This is a fist bump. I, I don't know what to do. And Tom is standing there with his fist out like this and eventually, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, right, I get it now. <laughs> I suppose I learned this lesson actually from right. James Cameron. Okay. Okay, on Avatar, right? And um, we had been warned that James Cameron was a fearsome director to work with. And I, I didn't really get much of that apart from one time when uh, it was, he had asked for the um, a robot, there were big robots in the, um, uh, the amp suits, I think they were called. He had asked for that amp suit to be further to the left. And we had looked at it and said, well, the framing doesn't work for that. And um, he can't possibly mean for us to, uh, to do that. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it the way that we think it should be done. He actually did lose it. And he said, all I asked was for this to go over there. You know, I've in, and he'd even done previs and everything. I did it in the previs. Just why can't you do it? And, and he let rip. And he was absolutely right. Yeah. It's up to him to look at what he asked for and decide that it's no good. Especially if you can provide him with an alternative. Exactly. And then you can choose between the two. Uh, being in the office, obviously, we do see directors walk by. I think it was probably about two weeks into my job here at NPC that I saw Tim Burton walk right by my desk. I'm really happy with the role I've been able to carve out for myself here at NPC. I mean, I've been here for about eight years, and I've had a fairly similar role in terms of being a software lead or a senior software developer. The company's been incredibly flexible about what I focus on, so I've been looking at character-related technologies, modeling technologies, effects technologies. I've been fairly hands-on, I've been fairly hands-off, being a more managerial role. Um, I really do like being part of the software team here. As to what exactly I'll do next, I don't know, but I think it'll still be part of this team. On a personal level, I think, uh, you know, for me, meeting Steven Spielberg was, was incredibly rewarding. We, it was, I think, back in 2002, and we were asked to go over to LA and um, meet with Spielberg for Minority Report. So I literally took a flight with a supervisor. We spent one night in LA before flying back, but the next day we, we met with Stephen on the set where, fantastically, he stopped the action whilst Tom Cruise was in the middle of a specific scene and said, Tom, stop, you know, I've got to take this meeting. Broke away from the camera. We had our meeting on, on set, and um, and then they went back to uh, they went back to um, the, the take. I've been lucky in that um, I've had a lot of involvement on set. You know, understanding the the political structure of, of being on set and who the players are. Um, setting up productions in their early stage, especially if they were being supervised by one of our own in-house supervisors. So that meant you know, meeting with all the, the heads of department, figuring out how we were going to approach um, scenes and so on. Um, so yeah, that experience has been you know, wide ranging from standing in a field with, with Danny Boyle on a small film such as Alien Love Triangle to you know, setting up with um, uh, Shaker Kapoor on Elizabeth the Golden Age and working with Guy Hendricks Dias on, on the production team there. You know, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's truly important, I think, as, as, as a producer as well, 